Hi there, I'm Rod Casilli. I work on the product here at Collective2. In this quick hit video, we're going to talk about how to place your very first trade in your model portfolio here in Collective2. So let's go ahead and log in first. I'm going to come in here. There we go. We'll log in. Now, if you watched the previous video, we talked about how to set up your strategy. We went over here to sell strategies and create a new strategy. We've already, already done that. If you haven't, you can look at the previous video about how to create a strategy over on sell strategies. At this point, though, I'm going to come down to your strategies, which is right below sell strategies. Click on that. And this is the trading system I set up. It was called Top Notch Trader Guy because I'm a top notch trader guy. Okay, up here, you can see that we have a menu at the top. You're going to want to come over to the third um, icon over the little gear icon which is manage you click that and you're going to enter a new trade now in this video we're talking about just how to send your first signal over again on your trial account here uh, using the web interface in the next video we'll talk about the six different ways yes six different ways I think we're the only folks that do that where you as a trade signal provider can actually manage your model portfolio but here we're going to talk about the simplest way which is to do it right in our web interface now if you have been uh, on the planet for the last 15 years or so and have ever looked at a brokerage platform probably something like this order entry will look familiar I'm not saying it has all the bells and whistles of uh, sophisticated platforms but it'll get the job done so I'm gonna say that I'm a st stock trader and the first thing I want to do in this interface here is change this to stock okay and you can see that it says buy to open I'll do a quantity of 100 and I'll put in my symbol which is Apple okay now it's showing that Apple's 109.10 you might notice down here that it says all quotes are delayed by 20 minutes now uh, don't uh, fret about that too much when you go to enter your trade if it does get uh, entered at market or you put in a sell limit you can see you can do sell limits profit target stop loss I won't go through the entire interface here we're just talking about the down and dirty of getting it done uh, once it, it's filled it will be filled at the proper market price at the time so we do make an assumption that if you're going to be managing a portfolio here at collective 2 you have access to real-time data and that your system uh, or your other brokerage platform or whatever you're using for data will tell you what the uh, actual data uh, uh, what the actual quotes are at that particular time okay but don't let this worry you again it's going to put in the proper price when the trade gets executed so that's how I would actually go ahead and do it uh, let me just put uh, let me put a limit price a little bit away from price I'll put it in at 108 the market happens to be closed right now as I'm making this video it might not be the best time to do something like that let me cancel this and you can see that I have a trade blotter here where I now have a buy to open working 100 Apple at 108 if I wanted to cancel that I can simply just cancel it right there okay so that's it now uh, why don't we do one other example if I happen to be a Forex trader for instance uh, now Forex you, you're gonna have to watch the little videos on how this is sized here one is one uh, mini lot not a micro lot we do not support micro lots so if you did 10 that's gonna be one full lot all right and then you come in here and you would say uh, euro USD and it'll bring up the euro USD and same thing you could buy it at market whatever you happen to do so again your driver is right here Forex future stocks are option you select your instrument type you go on in there and you pop in the symbol that you're looking for we have lists of symbols elsewhere on the site you can check the help guides for uh, future symbols and things of that nature whoops move that out of the way all right so that's it for now in this video we talked about how to enter your first trade signal into collective to using the web interface if we come back to top Net trader guy you can see here is my uh, system portfolio overview page and I have not entered any trades at this point we're, we're going to do that by clicking manage and enter new trade all right in the next video we'll talk about again other ways that you can submit signals to your brand new c2 portfolio model account this is Rod with Collective 2. Thanks.